Hello, my name is Simonaz, and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today, I've got your next Naxxorus Boss Guide for Lotheb. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit like below the video and subscribe for more videos. Now, let's get to it. Lotheb does two things that you need to worry about as a rogue. He summons spores on the edges of the room that, when killed, grant Fungal Bloom buff to nearby players. He also casts Inevitable Doom, which deals massive shadow damage to the entire raid. First, let's talk about Fungal Bloom. The Fungal Bloom buff lasts 90 seconds and gives you plus 50% chance for critical strikes. To get Fungal Bloom, you need to run to a spore and stop attacking the boss. Oftentimes, the time lost from attacking the boss is not worth the damage gained from the spore buff. Because rogues easily crit cap, the bonus from the Fungal Bloom buff is mostly wasted and does not benefit a rogue very much. Most importantly, if your guild is slow at killing spores and you have to sit idle and wait for other players, you are better off skipping them entirely. Here's a rough guide on if you should get a spore buff. If your guild is slow at killing spores, nothing else matters. Just skip them. Don't spend 15 seconds to get a spore buff and get back to the boss. If you are a dagger rogue with world buffs, skip spores regardless. They do almost nothing for you. If you are a dagger rogue without world buffs, sprint to the first spore you are assigned, get it, and ignore the rest. If you are a sword rogue with or without world buffs, sprint to the first spore you are assigned, get it, and ignore the rest. Now Lothep also casts Inevitable Doom, which deals 2,500 shadow damage to all raid members. The first cast is 2 minutes into the fight, and then every 30 seconds after that. Your healers will not be able to heal you due to a special healing debuff Lotheb afflicts them with. If your kills of Lotheb are a bit slower, you will get multiple casts of Inevitable Doom and you will need to use Greater Shadow Protection Potion or two of them to keep yourself alive. Lotheb is a great boss to use summon pets on. He does not do anything that will kill them, so they get to attack for their full duration and add a lot of damage to your total. Ancient Cornerstone Grimoire, Arcanite Dragonling, and Gnomish Battle Chicken are all excellent to use. Arcanite Dragonling is particularly good here because the mages benefit greatly from the increased fire damage debuff from the Dragonling on top of the increased crit chance from the fungal bloom they're getting. Now, let's check out a boss kill video. Here we are on the pull, I summon my skeleton from Ancient Cornerstone Grimoire and open with a 1 combo point slice and dice. I'm assigned to Spore Group 3, so I'm waiting until the third Spore and just doing a basic single target damage rotation until then. I refresh my Slice and Dice with just a fraction of a second left on the previous one and continue attacking. I've used my 2 minute cooldowns very early on so that I'll be able to use them twice. If I had waited much longer with the 2 minute cooldowns, I wouldn't be able to use them twice and it would be worse. Now it's my turn for the Spore, so I'm running over with my group. This ended up costing me 11 seconds to get this debuff and get back to damaging the boss, and it's really on the edge of whether that was actually worth it or not. So I got that one Spore buff, and I'm not going to go get another one. You'll see a lot of people will continue getting Spore buffs even as the boss goes on, and I don't think that was a good idea. I'm just going to stay on the boss the rest of the time. Now that I have the Spore buff, I use my 5 minute cooldown, Adrenaline Rush, and I'm going to be looking for a good opportunity to hit Thistle T. I've got a lot of time, so I can be pretty picky with how good of a Thistle T I want to get. A good Thistle T is one when you have less than 10 energy, so you get the maximum benefit from restoring 100 energy from Thistle T. The rest of this boss, we're just going to be continuing a single target DPS rotation, focusing on good slice and dice refreshes, refreshing when there's a fraction of a second remaining on the previous cast, and trying to use as many high combo point slice and dices as possible. And then, between those slice and dices, we want to fit in eviscerates. There's another nice refresh at three points with just a fraction of a second on the previous one. On this boss, I elected to use four pieces of the Dark Mantle set that give me a chance to restore 35 energy when I hit with an auto attack. Usually, these are a stat loss. They have less agility, less crit, and less hit than my Bone Scythe pieces, 
but because I get this substantial bonus of critical strike on Lotheb, the stat loss is less significant here, and the energy is more valuable. So it's a particularly nice set to use specifically for this boss. And you can see the boss is about to die, and we just had some people run to get the spore a little earlier, but they're totally ignoring this spore now. We're just finishing off the boss and picking up our loot. Also, the boss did not live long enough that I really needed any shadow protection to avoid the inevitable doom. We simply killed it before inevitable doom would kill us. That's it for the Lotheb guide. Remember to hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos. You can catch me live on Twitch and you can join my Discord, which is a great place to ask rogue related questions. Links to both Twitch and Discord are in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.